we decided, well, why don't we, why don't we put together some, some figures from our computations, from our projects, but in a way that looks visually appealing. So we just call it computational art show. We have all of our conversation that came out that maybe we can actually aim for visually attractive figures, even if they don't mean as much scientifically, and just have people come and look at them. And so it's not a group of mathematicians only. This, this is the Center for Computational Science. And, and the idea was to just have a place where people that do computer simulations related to science problems could have a place where uh, they can interact. Um, you, the computer codes give you back a bunch of numbers, and you want to visualize what's happening. You want to be able to analyze what's happening in different parts of your, of your region. Um, you can't do that by looking at numbers you, or data. You have to look at figures and pictures. And I think aesthetically and as far as research goes, definitely looking for patterns as something that you can find some predictive nature from, some, something stochastic from, and then we're also looking for something that deviates from that pattern. So that we if we just show the math side with a lot of equations, or just the simulation by itself, it's hard to attract a lot of uh, attention from the public, right? So I think it's, it's better if you can combine with like some kind of you know uh, art, like the. I think it's freeing for scientists to do that because, for once, you're not you don't have to be accurate scientifically. If I if my aim is to produce an appealing picture. I can do that. And we don't get to do that very often because we're always trying to be accurate with the science, with the physics, and respect the laws of physics. And here, they, we have a chance to completely ignore them and just do whatever we want. So I think that's what people like.